All right, how are you guys doing? This is Neil from Digital Canvas. Please visit the link in the description for more free videos on drawing and painting. And let's go ahead and continue off where we left off. This is part two. And as we continue, notice that what we're doing is we're trying to make an artistic rendition of the photo. Even though we're working from a photo reference, we're trying to make an artistic version of that. So we're not trying to follow it perfectly. We're definitely not following the colors. Because what's the point of making a photo, a replication of a photo? There are better photo replicators out there. They're called photocopiers, um, you know, and we can just make a copy of the digital thing and print it out, and it'll be much better than you can do. So I just don't understand the point of trying to reproduce a photo perfectly, you know, make an artistic rendition of it. doesn't make any sense to do otherwise. Right, so next thing we need to do as we're building up these um, parts, notice as we build the parts up, it starts looking more and more complex. And so like, ah, oh, that's how they get that cool look of the lips and, and that's how you do it. You gotta build up with parts and parts and parts and eventually you get the end result. Right, so the next thing we can notice um, that would probably look nice is if we start adding some of the details in the lips. We could do that, but since this is actually a cartoon you wouldn't have to do that, but we could anyway because sometimes you know even a more cartoony looking uh, painting will still have the uh, cool details in the lips. Right, anyway, so we got the highlight. We probably should work on this part here, the mountain that comes, you know, this is a mountain region like that. And so we have to simulate that mountain, that lump, that hill, that again, we have this bird shape, that shape that we seem to be attracted to. A lot of people love lips. And so we have this bird shape that like re reappears throughout the body, you know that heart shape or bird shape which is in the legs, in the butt, you know, the breast, um, sometimes the bottom lip, but usually it's this upper part of the lip, even the even the nose. It, it just reappears throughout the body. It's really cool. Okay. So to do that then, we're going to pick this uh, lighter color because we already have the dark laid down, remember? So now I'm going to pick a slightly lighter color up here using the Alt key. Notice right here, I got a little bit of muddiness, a little bit of brown muddiness. I don't like that, so I'll get rid of it when I paint down. But let's see here. I'm going to use this brush here, which is the only the pen, only the pressure is set. Oh, damn it! Only the opacity is set to pen pressure. And we know that we're going to have when the light hits the highest parts of each thing. So the highest part of the lip, you know, here and here, this part indents in, this part comes out. So as you can see, the highlights are going to be right in here and here, just off those two little parts there. And so you just kind of draw, not draw, paint lightly. And notice it doesn't come all the way down either. like so, and I'm going to grab my Alt key and just kind of take that color. I want to kind of push it around. And I'm not working 100% opacity still. And I'm just lightly pushing these colors around. I'm just barely touching the canvas. That's what I call my tablet. Because it just makes it easier to call it. Call it that. Right, so notice that also you have a little bit of the lip, because this part is still some of the lip up here. So that same color the lip needs to needs to push through up here. I'm going to use this brush here. Again, this has both size and pen pressure set to opacity. And I just want to bring that lip color as it comes around, like so. Maybe even lighten it just a bit. Notice at this stage now we pretty much have all of it's all worked out. Now we're just going for all the little details. Just kind of blend that in there. Want a slightly light color for the teeth. Let me pause to answer the phone. All right, I'm back finally. I know for you it was instantly, but for me I was like on the phone for quite a while, <laughs> so I've kind of forgot where I was. But I think I know what to do. All right, this brush here again. This is my workhorse for painting. This is the hard round brush that only has other dynamics and only has pen pressure set to opacity. So opacity set to pen pressure and that's it. 
nothing else is set. Oh, it has noise set too, um, just because it doesn't make much of a difference, but sometimes it does. You don't have to have it on if you don't want, but I think it adds a little bit more texture to it. Right, so there we go, that's my workhorse. Notice the brush tip shape, the spacing is default at like 12%, or maybe it's a little less than default. You don't want to go too much to the left, otherwise it, it'll lag your computer when you're working on big, uh, big painting, unless you have like a supercomputer. Right, so I'm going to pick one of these colors here, or I can just pick my default tone that I had. I should probably show you what that looks like, so you can push pause and see that color. So the next part I need to work on, since I have the shadow here and I have some of the light, is the other highlight. Notice the highlight comes from here all the way down. You have like this cheek shape here that comes down. So just remember you always have that kind of horseshoe U shape where the, all the light hits in here. And so I need to just bring that light down to like that. Now I'm going to grab that light before it doesn't get too too muddy. And I'm just lightly I mean, I'm just lightly doing this, ever so lightly. Take some of that pink color and just kind of rub it right there. Not rub it, but you know what I mean. All right, I'm going to reduce my opacity. Sometimes it's necessary to do this. And I'm just going to kind of push up right there and just kind of push down. I want this. OK, so I need this to really kind of just subtle something like that so now we get now we can start to see the you know the shape of the lip there oops I didn't mean to do that like that so that should work remember we're not trying to reproduce the photo we're just trying to get something that looks cool based on the photo I'm going to add just a little light right in here, not much, just a bit. I'm going to go to my drawing layer now, and I'm going to erase all that because I don't need it. And what I'm going to do, just because part of the nose is kind of part of the lips, is I want to add a little bit of that dark shadow that comes underneath the nose. And it kind of comes down into this lip right here. Notice the brushes I'm using. This is pin pressure and opacity set. Size and opacity set to pin pressure. Don't know why I keep making that mistake when I talk. And I actually painted that on the actual drawing layer. I don't feel like redoing it, so I'm just going to leave it like that. And I'm just going to slightly feather this out like that. And sometimes you can take this blur tool, or even the smudge tool, and then you can just kind of blur that together make it look more smooth. Okay. We're getting there. All right, I'm going to keep this up because I'm getting close to the end. Now we're just going to add the final um, parts. Just add, I'm just going to thicken that a bit. Get this white color here. I'm going to use that 5 brush. I'm just going to add a little bit more highlight. So we're at the final part now where all we have to do is add like shape highlights make it a little bit thicker and so right now I'm doing shape highlights and notice I'm kinda drawing a little bit of lines but not really I'm not really worried about the lines so much as I am about more like round shapes like so it looks like I'm going to have to come back with uh, another part, maybe. Which is fine, because actually I wanted to um, kind of add a little bit of reflected light right there. I wanted to um, do three force view, too, so that's fine, I guess. Now I'm taking this dark shadow color, and I'm going to add a little bit of lines over this, over the right over the highlight. And this is how we're going to get that ultimate look. I'm just drawing a few lines too here and there. Um, I could probably use this color to do the lines first, actually. I 
Okay, out of time. Come back for part three.